Welcome. So in this case, what we have is the volume of a cone, which is volume equals 1 third pi r squared times height. And what we want to do is solve this equation for h, because we might have a problem where we're provided the volume and the radius, and we need to figure out what the height is of the cone. So to do that, what I need to do is look at what is happening to my variable. My variable is being multiplied by r squared, multiplied by pi, and being multiplied by 1 third. So I need to undo all those operations. Now, one thing, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do them kind of separately, even though you can do them all together. But I see that I'm multiplied by pi and r squared, so I'm going to divide out the pi r squared on both sides. And I'll, show you, I'll tell you why I'm only doing the pi and the r squared. Because I want to leave this as 1 third h. Because a lot of times, fractions get with a lot of students on you know, how do I undo the fraction. So you know, we could have divided it, which would have been the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. Or you can just see, I'll just multiply it by 3 over 1. And now, since I have a fraction that multiplying by 3 over 1, I think it's just easier to understand. So my final equation is 3v divided by pi r squared equals h. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve for h and the volume formula. Thanks.